People are being evacuated from the far north town of Kaimomo for a second night as a large scrub fire continues to burn. Police cordons are in place to keep people away from the area as firefighters try to bring the flames under control. The blaze in Waiharara has tripled in size since it started on Saturday. Several helicopters and a number of ground appliances are working right now to extinguish it. Lauren Henderson is uh, in Kaimomo. And Lauren, how long is it going to take to bring this fire under control? Well, Mike, it's looking like fire crews will be in this for the long haul. I just spoke to the Fire and Emergency Northland District Manager who says last time Northland battled a blaze of this size, it took over four weeks to contain. And they say that, unfortunately, it's looking like that will be the reality for this fire too. Cutting through the smoky skies above Kai Mau Mau, helicopters with monsoon buckets fight the flames from above. Firefighters from across the region called in to help as the blaze threatens properties on the ground. Here at Waiharahara School, residents are settling in for a second night away from their homes after being evacuated on Sunday night. A bit of shock um, and concern for my whanau and, and the community itself. It's not a good feeling, so we're all just wanting to go home. Let's grab the dog and the kids and come here to the school, a bit close. Yeah, but close to home. They were allowed a brief return to their properties this morning to turn off power and gas and gather personal belongings. I'm self-employed, so I grabbed, made sure I grabbed all my tools, equipment, um, supplies for my kids, clothes, um, whatever is valuable at my home. But even in times of emergency, the community is banding together to help each other out. Some people have been bringing us some food and making up lunch, so just getting together, making up lunch, feed the kids. Fire crews have been working around the clock to contain the blaze. It's burned over 2,000 hectares in Waiharahara. That's the size of around 2,000 rugby fields. Beyond the avocado farm behind us is uh, a big swamp. One moment it would, would be ankle deep, the next minute it's right up to your waist, so too dangerous. Crews on the ground have spent the day removing vegetation and trying to protect properties, but the wind is causing havoc and making it difficult to contain. We've still got a lot of active fire out there. Heavy machinery was sent in to widen an existing fire break from over a decade ago. The fire has been burning since midday on Saturday. Fire and emergency saying it's too early to speculate on how it started. The air around us is thick with smoke currently and that's a major trigger for breathing conditions like asthma. People are being urged to stay as far away from the smoke as possible. Asthma New Zealand is asking people to stay inside with their doors and their windows shut. Now as for what's next for this community, they're currently in a hui as we speak where they're being told they won't be returning to their homes tonight. They also won't be returning to their homes tomorrow night and as for how long it depends on these weather conditions and when this wind decides to die down. Lauren, thank you.